Alright, hello YouTube family and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes, it is your boy Rosa, your soon-to-be number one YouTube host. Alright, today we got a unique video coming at y'all. Uh, a week or so ago or recently, I did a video where I did buttermilk battered chicken. I had buttermilk left, I had steak left, so what else could a guy do but do buttermilk battered steak? So this is just an experiment that me and the wife are going to try. So we're going to take the steak. We're going to season. Oh, as a reminder, when you see the buttermilk batter video, the chicken, I did not season it after I took it out of the buttermilk. I had to season it in the buttermilk. Season your meat after you pull it out of the buttermilk because it was somewhat bland. It was tender, but it wasn't flavorful. So with that being said, let's go ahead and season our meat. So you think we should go ahead and pull it out and put it on the paper towel and season it back? Sounds good. All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to, and I'm using my hands. They're clean. That's what he said. <laughs> They're just for you, so it doesn't matter. Oh, it don't matter if I eat your dirty stuff? It don't matter if you eat my dirty stuff. All right. All right. So let's mm -hmm. start out with a little salt, the basics. Let's start out with a little salt. The old Morton's. I got this in the way. Alright. Alright, y'all do me a favor and answer me a question. When you're seasoning your meat, do y'all season everything on one side and then flip it? Or do you put each ingredient and flip it each time? To me, it's easier just to season one side. Crack pepper neck. Season one side and then flip it over and do everything again. Repeat steps one, two, three, and four. Alright, let's crack pepper. All right, next, we're going to go with onions or onion powder and last but not least an old Louisiana favorite that's Tony Saturis that's right not Zachariah none of that Tony Saturis all right so let's go ahead and that's a little all seasoning blend that we use here in Louisiana it's probably got about everything that I just put on the steak in here but it's so flavorful and we want our steak to be flavorful for the day. It may have to actually cover up the buttermilk taste because we don't know how this is going to work. This is one of Roselle's creations. And see, I started out just where I left off. I started out with the Tony Sadras on this side. Pretty heavily. Because that's a large piece of meat. It's got to penetrate. Salt. And me and my wife are trying to cut back on salt because neither one of us needs it. Pepper. Liberally. I love crack pepper. I think it's better. Did uh Fit Gerald show? Well, of course Fit Gerald showed up. Why wouldn't he? Say it's food. So, time to eat. Time to eat. Of course Fit Gerald showed up. Alright, family. A little onion powder. And now I missed this whole side right there. Oh, did I miss a side? Miss a side. That means my steak. I'm gonna make sure I got some seasoning right there. So you want me to put some more of all the seasoning right there? Just that. Let me get, oh, I was going to say, did I miss that, that too? That's oh, Tony Stockton. Excuse me. That's your All right. Now, we take our George Foreman Jr. pan. As usual, we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay both steaks in. How many can you cook in that thing at one time? Just those two? Just those two. So if you got a family of four, somebody's going hungry, or y'all got to split a steak. Oh, well, those are some big old steaks. A family yes, of four, probably eat those. Ooh, a little pepper sneeze there. Alright, if y'all aren't new to the channel, you know how this works. We stick our uh, skewer through the holes. And I usually missed the bottom one, and I did. Let me turn that around so y'all can see. That's a good one. Yep, I usually missed that bottom hole. There we go. Now, put our gear on. Put our other plate on. And that's the gear side. You can see that. And then you got the gear right here. Those two go right here. Oh, know what I haven't done, Tony? Put the lid on. <laughs> Big Daddy getting ahead of himself. I am ready to eat steak, y'all. Well, the onion smell good. You smell that? Remember that time you made those 
onions on the George Foreman grill. Yes. Those are some good onions. Yes. All right. You this can't one. do that in this thing, though, huh? No, you I put cannot. Put onions on top of there. I probably could. This is a question. Well, I think it would. Have after it probably would burn, maybe after. Uh, oh, okay. Same process. Same process. Oh, again. you hit the hole. Right. <laughs> First time you had to say that. That's a shame on you. And who? There you go. Boom. Butterfingers. There you go, Danny. Now, go ahead and put that in. Your side in. There you have it. Now, let's go ahead and cut this baby on. Now, those of you who are new to the channel, you see right here where it has uh, different cook times. I now, can't see him. You're going to have to lift it up. All right, there you go. this shadow. All right, has different cook times. This is for chicken, turkey, and ribs. Now, right here it says flat round or round baskets, which we have the flat basket in. We have a New York strip steak. Should be about 14 minutes. Since I have two steaks in there, my theory is 14 minutes and cut it in half and add that. So about 21 to 25 minutes is what we're going to cook that steak, those two steaks at. So we're going to go ahead and set this right now, Tanya, at about, let's just go 30 minutes and we can always cut it off. We'll set that at 30 minutes, turn that around, drop the lid. All right, and all right, baby, on me. And now we're going to wait about 30 minutes. Well, about 20 minutes, we're going to come back and check our steak, see what it looks like. And then hopefully in around 30 minutes, we pull it off and we have a delicious tender juicy buttermilk battered steak y'all stay tuned we'll be back in 30 minutes all right family it's been about 30 minutes at the 20 minute mark mama wasn't quite happy because if you know you watch the videos previously you know she likes hers well done so it's been 30 minutes steaks are looking good time to pull them off plate them taste test them so let's go i'm gonna open our jar for me as usual and this thing is piping hot. I'm guessing this thing is at about 500 degrees when it's cooking. So let's go ahead and pull our rack off. Grab that by one thumb, pull it up. Now that's going to be extra tender. I think that buttermilk, the protein in the buttermilk breaks it down. And it's going to be super, super tender. All right, so let's go ahead and pull these. Plate it. It. it doesn't feel as tender as I thought though when I put the stick the fork in it. It doesn't feel quite as tender as I thought it would be. Let's find a good night, babe. Pull back. Oh, where's my big knife we had the other day? Why didn't he have the knife ready, guys? Nah, because uh, I thought my knife was at hand, but someone else needed it more. Alright, fam. It let's, looks tender. Yeah, let's cut into that. Let him know that nope. ain't the best knife. Look at that. Now for me, that's freaking perfect. But for you, let's try the other one. Well, you need to recut that with a better knife. Oh, what do you think? It'll look a little pink. <laughs> See there, but to me that's perfect. Let's do a taste test. Here goes. Check. No, I'm taste testing. Okay, yeah, you taste test. All right, here goes, family. So I guess you should have just went with the time that they told you on the machine. No, the you time was left. It and cut it in half. For, yeah, maybe I should have doubled it one for each state. Double it one for each state. All right. Can you put mine back on there or no? Yeah, I'm gonna put it back in for you. Well, how's piece. it taste? It tastes delicious. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you a piece that's edible for you. Is that red? Mm-hmm. Don't put me on the video. I actually not to put me on the video. All right, family, she's testing it, but I got the camera on me. What do you think, Mom? It's good. The flavor's good. Mm -hmm. Season it afterwards yeah. is the key. Mm -hmm. So, all right, family, we're going to put these back on for another 10 or so minutes for Mama's purpose. I'm putting her steak back on. But as far as I go, perfection. The buttermilk did break it down, and you can see how... It's all split and divided right there. The buttermilk did break those protein down and make it more tender, but it's going to take a little bit longer in the cooking time before the jar form will go. So, all right, family, 
that's going to bring this video to a close. As I used to say, it's going to bring it in for a landing. So, if y'all like what we're doing here, this and that, no. How should I start this out? If you like this video, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumb down. You're supposed to be doing this. Why would I do it? You're supposed to be holding the camera. Oh. No, you're holding it on you. See, that really want it on you. I don't want it on me. All right, finish chewing. Chew it on. Look who showed up. Hi, stink bot. <laughs> All right, family. If y'all enjoyed this video, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumb down and a brief reason why in the comment section. And if you like we who doing, if you like what we're doing here, this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so what? You'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome, awesome videos. videos. All right. It's your boy Rosie. Peace.